Hey guys, we're in Vail, Colorado. I'm hanging out with Emily Jackson, pro kayaker. Yeah. Right. And we got the, the Vail River like right behind yeah, us. Yeah, Gore Creek right here. Have you rafted on that one before? Yeah. Actually, I have rafted it once and we compete here. The downriver race, the freestyle kayaking is all based around this river. We're just crossing paths here at the Mountain mm -hmm. Games and I was out reviewing this bike. This is the Turn HSD. It's like a mid-tail cargo bike. It's really versatile. And we kind of connected at one of the booths and we started talking. You've yeah. got, it sounds like a Benno Boost. Yes, I do have the Benno Boost. Yeah, we actually keep it with us. I travel around for kayaking almost all year. And I wanted to have like another vehicle or another uh, mode of transportation that was a little greener, a little friendly, and I'm super active. So I just love getting outside. Yeah. And so, yeah, we take it with us like nine months out of the year. And yeah, that's my baby. Yeah. yeah. It was fun earlier. You were like riding this bike and they're very similar. It has the same motor. I think it's similar battery. Yours might be higher capacity, but, um, what made you choose that and how long have you had it? Uh, I've, I've had it for almost two years now, I think. Um, it's been a while. I've used it a lot. It gets a lot of miles on it for sure. But uh, I really like the Benno Boost because it's got a lot of storage space. And so for me, I have two kids. Um, I actually throw them on the back often. <laughs> um, but also it has the two storage packs on the side. Um, so I put a lot of, I love these guys. Yeah. Because I put so much stuff in it. But also, uh, like for instance, this morning, my husband wanted to go kayaking. I did not want to wake up to run his shuttle. Mm. So what do we do? We threw the bike in the back of the truck. Oh, cool. He went and set his own shuttle and having that storage capability, he ties the kayak on the back of the bike and huh. he doesn't need me. So he can just like with a little trailer or some sort of wheel at the back? Or? No, actually in the Benno Boost, the, the storage capability in the back is a little bit it's longer. It's a bit longer. It's a bit longer. And okay. the kayaks are actually kind of short, the ones that we use. So it fits perfectly. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. That is so cool. And mm -hmm. when you mentioned shuttle, so is it like you drop the bike off at the bottom and then drop him off at the top? No, I'm not involved anymore because he's got the car and the bike. He can do the whole he thing. the whole thing. DIY. Yeah, you get to I, sleep I in. Know. Right? I got a coffee. Yeah. <laughs> that is fantastic. Yeah. Well, and you mentioned your kids. So you have two kids. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you use like the Yep seats or what? what's your deal? No, so on the Benno Boost, there's actually a padded top on top of the cargo area ah. in the back and so that actually and there's two and the railings come up a little bit higher yeah so it's actually like more of a seat for them so they can sit there and hold on and I feel like they're secure they're not gonna fall right off um, we've looked into putting seats on it but my son's eight my daughter's four and so they're pretty self-sufficient I think they're a little younger I'd consider the seats um, but at their age you know they, they love the idea it's like a roller coaster like woohoo totally <laughs> yeah. and I think I've seen the thing you're talking about there's a railing and there's like two tubes so their fingers won't get yeah. pinched mm -hmm. okay it's really well thought out for throwing kids on the back or or really anything on the back. So they did a really good job with that design for packing just about anything you want on there. It sounds like you really take advantage of it. I don't <laughs> suppose there are too many people hauling kayaks around on it. No, but you know what? It's turning into more of a thing. You know, people are looking for ways to be more self-sufficient. You know, you came out of a crazy year, so people are finding different ways to be able to get outside and enjoy things on their own. Yeah. Um, and just not having any excuses. <laughs> no, the hills aren't a problem. The wind isn't <laughs> no, a big deal. I know. Yeah, hills are nothing. It's always funny when you get on there and you're like, oh, it's a hill. Ah. Ah, it's not a problem. <laughs> tick, 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 like dial yeah. it up. I know. I'm curious. Okay, so as someone who also rides a lot of bikes yeah. and stuff, uh, what level of assist do you use the most? Like, which one oh, are you I usually I love going all the way to turbo. I'm you go all the way to turbo? So <laughs> well, because, you know, to be fully honest, I'm not a speed person at all. Uh -huh. It kind of makes me really nervous. And so when we first got the bikes, I was kind of, you know, like, common question. Where's the throttle? Uh -huh. Where's this? And I was like, man, this isn't what I thought at all. You know, and I'm a pretty good biker, but not that good. And so... The idea of having an assisted bike made me really timid at first. Hmm. But then when I got on it and realized how much it was just like riding a normal bike, yeah. but just having a little bit of extra power when I wanted it made a huge difference. Because for me, it was like, wait a minute, this isn't intimidating. I'm not out of control. There's nothing like that. I am in full control pedaling at whatever pace I want. And it's just giving me that little extra oomph when I might want it on those hills or, yeah. you know, just want to cruise. You mentioned a couple of really good points, specifically for like these Bosch bikes. Yeah. They have some of the best sensors in the world. So yeah. like this thing measures your rear wheel speed, pedal yeah. cadence and pedal torque over a thousand times a second. It's got shift detection. It's got the four levels of assist. And yeah. so what you mentioned earlier, this doesn't have a throttle. Your bike and this bike, they're class one, which means you can ride on more trails and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's more, it's more, it's like highly permissible yeah. class of electric bikes. Yeah. And because it's so responsive with all the sensors, mm -hmm. it feels, it feels natural. It never yeah. feels like, oh, I wasn't expecting that. Mm -hmm. Right? No, I would definitely say there is a very natural feel to these bikes. You know, when you're when you're pedaling them, I almost said pedaling. <laughs> I know, right? I know, it's so close. Uh, but when I'm pedaling it, you know, in general, I find the balance on them is fantastic. You know, mm -hmm. you don't notice people are like, well, they're heavy 
tippier. How does that work? Sure. And you know, if I'm off trail, if it's bumpy, you know, does it make it feel tippier? And to be fully honest, not at all. You know, mm. the second I got on the bike, it reminded me of just being on a standard on a standard bike, only yeah. way more fun. As I, and you know, it's funny because it's not just you riding, it's like you're talking about cargo and kids. <laughs> yeah. So the motor, the drive system really helps. And then the tires, this one has slightly wider tires, 2.15. Mm -hmm. I think yours are also wider. Yes. It adds stability, mm -hmm. the approachability, like see how low the frame is here. You can stand over it. So if you need to jump off and stabilize the bike, Definitely. especially with kids, especially with like, they're just doing such great things. Yeah. We were talking about the price earlier mm -hmm. and you were like, but hey, it's worth it because I use it so much. I mean, yeah. I, as someone, I think in general, you know, price points scare people a little bit because they're not sure how much am I going to use it, am I going to like it? Yeah. You know, but I think if you can get out and demo one and try one, I think you're not going to be disappointed because most certainly, even though they're expensive, they're helping you make light choices that are healthier, sure, and better for the environment, and just way more fun. I think mental health is so important, and there's nothing better for your mental health than getting outside. Emily Jackson, yeah. I'm so glad we got to talk. Yeah. I know you're so busy and I wish you luck at these games. Thanks. Have yeah. you already done a couple of events? Yeah, I have. You know, I've been, I competed in the freestyle kayaking yesterday. I'm sitting in first and then today I have four different events. So wish me luck. Oh my gosh. Thank you for taking time. It's, it's early in the morning, you guys. I'm really, I really appreciate it. Do you have any other cool websites for yourself or anything that people should check out? For sure. You know, fans? on Outside TV, definitely follow a Great Family Adventure. We'll have a TV show and we're actually going to be featuring us, me learning how to mountain bike in Bentonville, Arkansas. Oh my so gosh. That'll be really fun to watch. Fantastic. Hopefully they put in all the good clips, you know. Um, <laughs> is it a reality then, know, TV show? It is, kind with like of, your kids you know, and for, stuff? Oh, for sure. Oh, kids wow. and everything. And then, uh, but in general, you know, Jackson Kayak is, you know, my family business, you know, we make kayak go kayak and you can follow a lot of our stories there hmm. um, but yeah okay I'll probably put a little story together on the forums and maybe have some pictures and links yeah. uh, the idea for my site electricbikereview.com is just to cover these things objectively give you feedback because they are expensive mm -hmm. and then allow you to kind of compare and research the space before making a big purchase for sure they're always evolving and they're always making new and great product out there so i think it always changes but so far i think it's a lifetime you know like i love my beno boost and i don't think it's gonna go anywhere it's part of the family now they last so long and you can get the you know battery replacements and stuff if you need to emily thank you so much i hope you have a great day yeah. i'll see you next time